see swimming pools and living rooms and airplanes. I see a little house on the hill and children's names. Are we just gonna stay like this forever? R.I.P. to my youth, and you could call this a funeral. I'm just telling the truth. Hey guys, it's Carla, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video that I would usually not upload, but. I felt like doing it because A, I had no idea what to film this week, and B, I just felt like doing it. I don't know. And it's a makeup routine, usually what I wear for school if I do wear makeup because I usually never wear makeup. But yeah, that's what today's video is going to be about. And hope you guys like it. I usually don't do these kinds of videos, but if you guys want me to do more of these, Please comment down below and tell me what kind of videos you guys want me to do next. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get started with the video. Hey guys, so I'm just going to get my beauty blender wet so I can put my makeup on. And yeah, so it's just bigger and nicer to put on because I love my beauty blender and it always has to be wet or else my makeup's just gonna look bad. And I just squeeze it a little bit so I can get all the water out and yeah. First I have to take my glasses off to put it on and then I'm putting a primer so you know my makeup looks really nice and I have a clean canvas to work with because you know I need a clean canvas and so the makeup sticks there for the whole day and it just looks nice. So now I'm putting concealer under my eyes, as you can see, and this concealer, I actually made it myself, and if you guys want to see a video of how I made it, I can totally do that. So I'm just putting triangles under my eyes so, you know, I can brighten them up and just make them look nice and not like a zombie, because I know I look like that all the time. And yeah, then the other eye, and I usually don't put um, foundation on because I just feel like it's too heavy for me. And then I put some more concealer on my nose and my forehead and on the side of my nose. And I also like to put it um, on my, everywhere really that I need it to be and on top of my lips so it just looked bigger. And now I'm blending it in with my beauty blender because I just need to and it looks nice. And yeah, this is an off-branded, but um, it works like the real one because I actually have the real one. But I don't know, I just, this one's cheaper and I can get it for a smaller price. So yeah, just blending, blending it in and so it looks really nice and clean. Now I'm going to put powder on and this one's from Mary Kay. I'm just putting a little bit on everywhere that I just put the concealer on and I just really like doing this to set my power powder in and just stay it just stays like that for the whole day. And I love this powder so much. I bought it a long time ago for like, like a year ago and I still, it's still fine. Now I'm putting a little bit of bronzer on my face, you know, just to have color. And this is a Hulu bronzer by Benefit and I love this bronzer so much. And I just use the brush that it comes with and I just put a little bit on the side of my cheekbones and blended it in and then the other side and yeah I really like doing this um, I usually put this on whenever I wear makeup because when I put concealer on it just makes my face look really pale so now I'm putting it under my neck so it makes me have a nicer jawline I guess and then I'm putting it on my forehead to give it some color and just blending it in with the other ones. So now I'm putting it on the bridge of my nose. So like just everywhere in my nose to make it a little bit slimmer because I hate my nose and I think it's way too big. 
and I like just putting some on my nose and yeah now I have a little bit of trouble blending it in uh, so you'll just see in a second and then I put some under my lip so yeah just to make my lips look a little bit bigger and right now as you can see I'm having a little bit of trouble blending it in because I put way too much on and yeah and then I just blend a little bit under my lip and now I'm taking the naked palette and I'm using that color I forgot the name um and I'm just putting it on my eyelid so I have a base color on my eyes and then I take that really pretty color and I put it on my crease and I just blend it in with everything and make it look really nice and seamless which that's what I'm trying to go with I don't want to look really like I don't know forced I don't know I just like simple makeup and that's what I did and I just put it under my eyes too like I just blend it in so it looks nicely and then I'm taking the lightest color and putting it in my inner corner and I usually put it under my eyebrow too but this time I didn't and now I'm putting eyeliner on which was a little bit of trouble for me because it usually looks better but I was trying to film it and it went horrible so you know you're just gonna see me trying to put some eyeliner on which I feel miserably. The first time I did it, it looked kind of nice, but then the second time, trying to mimic it, it was horrible. Um, so yeah, you guys are just going to see me try to do that. And the other eye. As you're going to see, it's going to look horrible. Here's where I am going to have trouble with. This one's way too long compared to the other one. And I'm trying to thicken it in so it looks kind of, I don't know. It looks better and then I smudge it in, then I do it again. And I just stick with it because I'm like, whatever. You can't do it on camera. So now I'm taking the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which I love. And... I am just going to, you know, put the spoolie on my eyebrows so they look nice and put together. And then I'm just going to fill them in. I barely put any on because my eyebrows are already really thick. I just follow the shape of my eyebrow and just fill those little bald spots that I have. And yeah, it's pretty simple makeup. I really, and I usually don't wear this much. It's just once a week. And yeah, just filling it in. Now I'm going through the spoolie again to, you know, just blend all the hairs in. And now I'm taking my favorite mascara, which is the Better Than Sex Mascara. I hate the name, but I love the mascara. And it's so nice. It leaves, it leaves my eyebrow, <laughs> it leaves my eyelashes really nice and thick and long. Even though they do clump a little bit, I don't really have a problem with it. I, just, I think they look really nice. And I love this mascara. This is my number one mascara. And it's just such a nice mascara. I've been using it for like three months already and i really love it i think it's a great mascara to you know buy and i think everyone should buy this mascara it's just such a nice mascara and now i'm saying mascara way too much but yeah i'm just putting it in the other eye and my lower lashes because i love putting it in my lower lashes i just think it brings the whole look together and now i'm putting some chapstick on so my lips don't look weird and yeah I love this chapstick because it has a little bit of sunscreen and it's just nice to put some on and it leaves my lips super nice and moisturized so that's all for the look and I usually wear this once a week um but I really like how everything looks like I think my eyeshadow is really simple and I just put down my hair so you know it looks a little bit better and that's how I usually look when I go to school but you know I can't go without my glasses so I have to put my glasses on and yeah so this is how it looks without makeup and with makeup 
Um, it's not such a big difference, but I feel like it just makes my features a little bit better. So, hope you guys liked the video, and please, again, comment down below if you like these kinds of videos, and please give it a thumbs up, because why not, if you're feeling generous. Yeah, okay. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video, and if you do, do what I do in my makeup and I usually don't wear this it's usually like when I really want to look good because I usually don't care what I look when I go to school but and this is what I usually wear like the sweater like this some jog jeggings or joggers or sweatpants <laughs> and my hair in a ponytail but that's all I wear and but if I want to look kind of presentable still wearing this but kind of presentable then i'll do my makeup so yeah if you guys do what i did please if you do take a picture and if you want to post it on instagram put the hashtag carla's makeup 2015 yeah and okay i usually never wear this for school it's like <laughs> well i mean i do wear it. it's like once a week kind of thing and it's usually on thursdays because that's my favorite day of the week and yeah i think that's all for today's video please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos with me and comment down below any video ideas that you have or what you thought of the video you know and please like this video give it a thumbs up and i think that's all for today hope you guys liked it and bye Thank you.